back and I'm curing and uh, I think I missed that experience. Oh well. Unfortunately, but damn it! Dang it! I don't care. Right. <laughs> Should have cared a little bit, yeah. just a little. But yeah, um, back on the conversation, um, Steven Universe I've heard is really good. I just need to actually catch it. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to remember if Andrew said he liked it or didn't like it. He told me there was one he couldn't stand. Mm. There was something about an old man who can control Uncle them. Grandpa. Yeah, that one. Uncle Grandpa. He says he doesn't like that. A good chunk of people don't like it. And I don't even know what that is. It's literally how it sounds. It's like some dude who's supposed to be like everyone's Uncle Grandpa or something. And I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. It's just really friggin' weird. Gotcha. I can't get into it either. It's. What channel is that on? Also, Cartoon Network. Hmm. They can all be gems, unfortunately. Oh no. <laughs> the Steven Universe fandom just had a giant chuckle. Gems. <laughs> anyway, it. <laughs> it's fine. But, uh. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Like, it's no longer days of, like, Hey Arnold and Rocket Power and Rugrats and Vader Zim and. Well, that's a whatnot. Nickelodeon aspect. Like, well, I remember. True. I, oh, yeah, I did kind of just think. <laughs> the conversations we were mostly having is I was telling him yeah. that my childhood mostly centered around Cartoon Network. Right. Because. Yeah, uh, in a nutshell, because I don't want to bear repeating too much. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much, I told him, was, like, growing up, I had no cable. But my grandparents did, and my mm. grandparents were like down the road. Right. So every time we visit, it's like, yes, cable! And yeah. <laughs> I mostly, while Nickelodeon was there and I enjoyed it, I was mostly drawn to Cartoon Network because there was just something about it that was more appealing to me. Right. And then when we moved uh, to an urban area <clears throat> uh, in my later years, right. we, were, we had cable, but we didn't, we didn't have Cartoon Network. We had Nickelodeon, but not that. Right. Then we got a notification saying, oh, by the way, we're going to add Cartoon Network to your provider on Channel 72 at midnight of this day. Right. And I literally treated that as if it was like one of those Amiibo pre-order type things where I was like, I gotta be first in line. <laughs> so I spent like nice. the evening trying to watch it. Still static screen until like, I think I woke up in the morning and Cartoon Network was there. Nice. So that was mostly me. So I was all about the cartoon cartoon characters. Right. You know, Cow and Chicken, Dutch Laboratory, <laughs> a cursed cowley dog, damn I screwed up. It's okay. Uh what you might call it. Um Johnny Bravo. Yeah. Uh let's see, I already said cow and chicken. Uh Harp of Girls. I already said that one. Oh you don't know. I am Weasel. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, that was a fun one. Oh, there uh, a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Wait. No, it might not be you. It Wild Crush. Yeah, I know. There's, there's got to be a reason to this madness. There we go. Yep. Just for you two. You're dead! You're all dead! Except you. <laughs> Now you bring it up, I think I remember that exact moment oh, for myself as well. Uh huh. Because I do remember um, Cartoon Network not being on the regular thing, lineup and everything, and then it did get added, and I was like, oh yay. Because for some reason, um, when I was younger, I got like a sticker set, uh -huh. which it was a bunch of cartoon cartoons. Oh, oh Johnny Bravo. Yeah, I reset that one. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> We're just renaming all of them. Good. It. it it's good stuff. But yeah, at the time, the reason I was so, like, Nickelodeon-oriented now that I think about it is because that was just there. And then eventually they added Cartoon Network, and then I'm like, oh, yay. Yeah. Now I get to experience all these things I saw in that sticker set, which I really wanted to, but cool. couldn't. Yeah, no, our conversation is mostly <clears throat> kind of drew to, like, what were you used to? And I was telling him, it's like, I don't really know what Cartoon Network is making of a bottle. Yeah. If I'm using that correctly. And kind of, but fine. Yeah. Well, it's coming back from this live action BS that it was doing a few years ago. Yeah. 
that one. Okay. No. Uh, as far as Nickelodeon goes, I mean, they still have SpongeBob, though people don't say it's as good as it used to be. Mm -hmm. I'm like, whatever, I don't care. I like SpongeBob nonetheless. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know what else Nickelodeon has going for it. Mm, yeah, yeah, no, I know what you mean. It's kind of barren, sort of. I'm trying to think, but yeah, I really think it's more live, weird live action crap. Or whatever. I know for a while it had its Hannah Montana knockoff iCarly or something. Yeah, that it did. A, that was a little while ago. Yeah, it was. I'm not too sure. Yeah, me neither. Ow. Ow. Oh. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> and Disney Channel. Well, that one is a bit selective. Yeah. I do know they have a strong, uh, what you may call it, uh, toddler program going. Mm. Like Disney Junior, like I know my niece watches well, that a lot. Yeah. yeah, my younger niece. Yeah. And they got a fairly decent program in there for kids, I guess. Well, that's good. But as far as like the main Nickelodeon, like I said, I have no idea. Me neither. It's definitely changed. It's definitely in, uh, whatchamacall, like, Disney Channel, it's always been it's whatever. Right. I mean, I liked it sometimes, but again, I was a kid, this was back when it was like DuckTales, Darkwing Duck, and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Yep. Nowadays, uh, I don't know. List in the comment section, tell us what's normally on those channels that yeah, we can watch. Yeah, please do. And who knows? I'll actually maybe look into it. Just to see. Do you ever check out um, Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon's websites back then? Yeah. I went on Cartoon Network's website. I was so obsessed with that as a Oh, kid. God, yes. Heck, I remember it had a lot of cool Flash games. Yeah, remember on um, the Summer Break ones? The oh, Summer the Break RPG Adventures? One, right? Yeah. Oh, I love those. Oh, so good. It was like an actual game you could play. Yeah. Like you go up to your characters, find out what they want, and yeah. I really liked when they had courage, and they like um, each episode, every main character you played as was different or from a different show. Yeah. I like Courage's one because if I remember right, you went into like a volcano at one point at the end. Yeah, I faintly remember that. Yeah. I actually do remember what my favorite uh, Flash game was yeah. that they had. It was back when it was uh, Evil Kung Carne. Oh, was it the Grim uh, Grim Adventures versus Evil Kung Carne, the canon one? Maybe. Was it? Why? Wait. It was the one where you play Battle Forts and you chose which side and you could choose your weapons you want. Yeah, that's what I meant, the canon one. Yeah, yeah. that one. That was really good. I my, loved that game. And call it typical, but my favorite has always been uh, Big Bertha. Because <laughs> I just love how like your entire layer just opens up and you see this giant thing Missile. go up here. Yep. And then the thing just slams down. It's like this giant Armageddon thing. Yeah. I always liked oh. how like the enemy's reaction portrait was freaking out during that oh, part. Yeah. Now, I know it was Evil Con Carne versus... Was it a rival bad guy? Yeah, it was. It wasn't. It... Yeah, I, I messed up. It wasn't Grim. It was some other rival thing. Yeah. I think your fort was the rabbit. Yeah. And the other one, I don't remember. I can't remember what it was either. But yeah, your main fort was the rabbit, and the other one was some thing that I just cannot for the life of me remember what it looks like. <clears throat> but yeah. That game was awesome. Yeah. That was one of my favorites. I don't think it's anywhere up there anymore. I think there's a fan site that has that and those summer games. I found it once. If I can find it again, I'll get you the link, because oh, I would be play great. them again. I would play them again in a heartbeat. Yeah. Someone on Tumblr actually made a post where they had like some of the old Cartoon Network on-site ads. Mm. And that took that itself took me back. I was like, oh, I remember seeing those, and I would click on them, and ah, uh, yeah. nostalgia. Yeah, no, it was awesome. Good times, man. Good times. They don't do that anymore. Like I said, Cartoon Network when it um went into that weird 
live action phase. When, like I said before, they start doing cartoons a lot again. When the when they changed it to be where the cartoons were running the network to be like, not. I remember a friend of mine was actually uh, prophesizing the fall of Cartoon Network that way. Mm. Whereas back then it was like Cartoon Cartoon Fridays. It would have yep. one character host it. Yeah. And then a couple years later they had like these two yep. live action people do it. Yep. I remember that. Which people were like. Which, that didn't bother me at all, because it was still Cartoon Cartoon. Yeah, exactly. And I was still getting new episodes. And then, it kind of advanced from there, where it became like a, almost like an in-studio type thing. Mm -hmm. But then I thought there would be like a remembrance of it, because outside that studio was like the Cartoon Network cityscape. Yeah. Which all the characters crossed over, which I loved it. Oh, yeah. I thought it was really cool. Yeah. But then that was it. Nope. That was the fall. Yeah. In the back of my mind, I kind of had that feeling, too, when I had those random people on it. I was like, uh, I have a bad, nagging feeling about this. I hear you. Some years later, wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know? But yeah, now that the cartoons are coming back, and a lot of them are pretty damn good, at least for Cartoon Network. Yeah. Oh, man. So good. I remember one channel I really wanted to get that was almost impossible for my provider mm. was Boomerang. Oh yeah. Because I remember when Cartoon Network started to like focus on the newer cartoons and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. The cartoon cartoons started became non-existent. Yeah. Except for Courage for some weird reason. Courage found the following. Enough of a following that he was around for at least a bit longer. Yeah. He was kind of like how Spongebob is now, where like he's like the sole survivor from that era. Except he went away, unfortunately. Yeah, Courage only has so many seasons. Yeah. They still make new shows of Spongebob. Yeah, they do. <clears throat> so, but yeah, no, I wanted Boomerang because that's apparent. Because that was also where um, Justice League Unlimited went. Mm. And pretty much Boomerang was just where shows went to die, if you will. So anything you liked on Cartoon Network... And was up there. on Boomerang. Yeah. Because the whole... I remember the old Boomerang commercials, and it really became what you just said. Except in the commercials they put nicer by saying it was a time capsule of all the things you used to watch and love. Yeah. Instead of a graveyard. But yeah, it really was kind of a graveyard. Heck, I even remember the slogan was originally, it's like, Boomerang, that's all coming back to you. Yeah. That... Yep. You got that right. Yeah, got it. Friggin' wizards. Damn it. Yeah, I've noticed it's been a while since I got Trinity Limit. That's because Donald cards aren't dropping as frequently. No, they You've been getting a lot of goofies. It's gonna be fun when I watch the footage back and I'm completely wrong on that statement. That's all <laughs> I know, I don't care either. Slash him up. But yeah. Oh, come uh, on. You assholes. We were gonna grab that. You jerks. I will say though, Justice League and Justice League Unlimited are now on Netflix. Yeah, no, I've which watched Which is them. awesome. That's a great benefit about Netflix, why I don't have to worry about Boomerang anymore. It's like, oh, yeah. but... Well, now I got... No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Donald! Could've got him, but not today. Apparently. Nah. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, no, Netflix savored me that. Yeah. Watch all the old cartoons there. Do you agree that Invader Zim was kind of ahead of its time? A little bit, yes. Yeah. Like, I enjoyed that show only because oh, it was so yeah. dark and cinematic. Yep. Weird it really was. That artist... Oh, yeah, you got it. That artist has such a good style. Uh, no, I know, I know. Okay. Yeah, no, um... I really enjoy that show. Yeah, the ground, you dicks. Nice. Oh. oh yeah, he can't break it because his highest card is eight. <laughs> I mean, it didn't kill him, but it did a lot of damage. <laughs> okay then. Oh, oh, there's more to be had. There's more of them. Let's go. Uh, wait, what was <clears> I saying before? Huh? You were saying something. I was trying to remember. Cartoons? 
No, 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 something more specific. Um... I can't remember right now. No one I might remember? Hmm. Next time. To be continued!